Due to popular demand, this is an updated version of the original. Look at all the other muck we're drinking. And if you could smell it, if it was smell -a vision it smells like radiator coolant. It's horrible. Well, we're going to make some distilled water today. This is one of the distillers that I have. So basically, I've already cleaned this one from last time. Relatively clean, as you can see. No crap in there. But you're going to see a different story once we uh, do this. So this is just ordinary tap water. We pulled up to the line there. You can use any sort of water. So it's just ordinary tap water, Brisbane water. Going to use a trusty TDS meter. And in this case, we're at about 220 parts per million of uh, contaminants. At only 19 parts per million, by comparison, rainwater has a lot less contaminants. So all we do then, is simply put the lid on, let them slip down there, and then you just plug that in, make sure it's in firmly, and switch them on. Like that. Distilling works by converting the water to steam and then it goes through a final charcoal filter leaving all impurities behind with no toxins remaining so then you just get your bottle this is a four litre bottle and your filter which I've already put in I don't know if you can see that put them on there I run three of them but this one fits on the sink and, uh, Put that up in there, make sure it's not going to push this lid up as I found was a problem. It should be okay. And you come back in uh, anywhere from three to five hours. As you can see the results from distilling shows there's only three parts per million remaining. Anything under ten parts per million is considered pure water. The plastic containers I use, by the way, are certified CFC free. Make sure of that when you store water. Okay, well, we've done our uh, water. Now, I want to show you hopefully what it's like in here. It's not too bad this time. Oh. Ugh, stinks of ethylene glycol, radiated coolant. I don't know how well you can make that out. That's that's a clean result. As you can see this, I don't even like to touch it. Well, that muck. That's from the tap water. So, without even worrying about um, fluoride in the water, which is why I bought this in the first place. Look at all the other muck we're drinking. And if you could smell it, if it was smell vision it smells like radiator coolant. It's horrible. The thing I uh, don't ever get is when people say, uh, well, I wonder if it falls on deaf ears, you know, because they go, oh yeah, but you know, you do this wrong and that wrong and everything else wrong, so why are you bothering doing that? Well, my theory is every little thing that you do that's not wrong surely makes everything else a little less wrong. Catch you later. How I found my distillers, all three of them, were through eBay and just Google searching. They are all pretty well made at the same place, which is China. So ideally, try and find one with a slightly higher wattage, because that will equate to shorter production times of distilled water. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.